All right, guys. Sexy, sexy here. Late to the party, but it's okay. We're gonna be reviewing the OCG ban list for January 1st of 2018. It's gonna be taken into effect on January 1st. I know it's not on the list, but it's okay. I, I have memories, okay? So it's really soon. We're not getting ours until later, I think. So we're gonna see if this has any um, implications for the TCG. But let's get right into it. So for ban, you can barely see it, but this is Ancient Fairy Dragon. So. I mean, like, sure, the putting it at one won't do anything because only won't play at one, but Banny Ancient Fairy. Okay. I know the OCG has one terraforming, but they're getting two set rotations, so I guess they're really trying to hit field spells because they're too strong. You know how you hit field spells? Make it so there's one field spell at a time, so there's actual strategic play with it where you have to, like, overlay. They're not even field spells anymore. They're. Literally just searchable continuous spells. That's all they are. They're continuous spells with more support. I mean, like, if continuous spells are just not as good because they aren't searchable and they aren't as powerful as field spells. I mean, this isn't how you hit field spells. You hit field spells by making it, like, so they're, so that when you have a field spell... And you both players share a field spell zone. So if you have your field spell, your opponent can stack theirs on top of yours and gain the advantage. So then there's actual strategic play. That that's just why I think. For limited Blackwing the steam the cloak, this is like a token generator. Let's just put this up on Yu-Gi-Oh Pro real quick. So it is called Blackwing. There are so many Blackwings. Look at this. Um, steam, steam the cloak. So this is a token generator. I love the artwork of Yu-Gi-Oh Pro cards, by the way. Look, look at that. Look at that card artwork. It's so detailed. So if this phase sub card leaves a field, special summon a token. If it's graveyard, you can special summon it. It is pretty good, and synchros doesn't really matter. So this, I guess, it's a token generator for links. It hasn't really been abused, but I don't know how, how the OCG works. Dandelion to one, we have Dandelion at one in the TCG. It's still good in those hyper synchro decks, and it's abusable by Link, so that makes sense. So big ones, Drone, Quick Fix, and Resort all got hit to one. So they're really hitting the field spell. They have one terraforming. They're only gonna have two set rotation, and they're um, banning Ancient Fairy. So now for like primary ways to get it, because Ancient Fairy used to be one of them, it's um one Resort, one actual copy, one terraforming, two set rotations. So you have four ways to get to it. That's quite a bit, but it's kind of weak compared to what we have. We have six. Also, um, like Destrudo engine with Ancient Fairy. But this makes Destrudo suck. I don't know. This makes no sense to me, but I guess they hate field spells. <laughs> Who knows, right? Quick Fix to one. We have Quick Fix at one. Drone to one. Same thing. Resort. That's a big hit. I think that's a really big hit, but because if, for example, Mind Crush, because Mind Crush is now even more powerful because if you Mind Crush their resort, that's their only copy. They can't even search another one. That that's really strong. That that's a big hit, even though it might not look like it. But that's a pretty massive hit. Also, minus two copies that hurts the deck's consistency. Like, where are you gonna run out tough? The main problem is master plan, but this hurts because spirals are really strong in the OCG. And the big one we want to talk about is firewall. I mean, to me, firewall at one blue eyes level eater can still function. OCG, I don't. I think OCG has the like the link rebo spam. So, I mean, yeah, firewall dragon to one. That's a big hit, but. At the same time, you can still use it to special summon. Like, if you have it, let's just pull out. Let's just pull out a game here, okay? Just as a thing here. Um, if we go to dual AI, cool. So this always takes so long. Okay, so with the firewall now, if you have it here. Like, it would kind of suck because you only get one zone to special summon with when it gets popped. But if you have a here off Link Karibo or Security or whatever, you can still go here and here. But Firewall, like, 
the main thing with firewall was like you can get triple like that and then you can also like take these two firewall bounce this one like use this one to then like bounce this thing and then summon something bounce this like resummon and just keep looping the firewalls that was the main issue with firewall that one if you have it here kind of sucks that inadvertently does hurt those grinder golem decks because now you can't just double firewall like the the feel now is gonna be like maybe you can still make scaldy and stuff but you're gonna have like a firewall a kashik and that's it that's it so and you will get like the Akashic effect. Firewall doesn't even have a bounce. That's a lot weaker of a field than like Firewall, Firewall. Like here, here, just you, it's it's less powerful. That's what I'm trying to get at. It's still gonna be playable. I mean, it's a protagonist card. That's the main thing. So they're sort of backed into a corner where they have to ban or like hit all the support cards without hitting the main problem, like freaking hitting machine dupe instead of hitting quick fix, because th they're up against a corner here. I mean, Vrains isn't, like, it's kind of mature, but it, it's still for kids. And if some kid goes, like, remember back in the DM era, if you guys were playing, you know, you'd find kids and they'd be like, they'd be trading Chaos Emperor Dragon for Black Magician and Demon Summon, because Yugi played it. I think they call it, like, Summon Skull in the dub. So. They'd they be legit be trading Chaos Emperor Dragon for Black Magician because it's a protagonist card. And at one, I guess it's okay. Like, if they want to, like, go go somewhere or, like and play Firewall, and then it's like, oh, Firewall is banned. That, that would really suck for the kids. So they're really backed into a corner here. They made it too OP, and they can't just errata it after it's been used in the show. They can't do that, so they're really like they can't get it. But limited is fine. When have you seen Yugi with two black magicians? When have you seen when have you seen two Stardusts, two Neos? Okay, nobody cares about Neos. When have you seen Arc V dude? Like what was his name? Yuya pull off two odd eyes pendulum dragon. That's what all the real life players do. But I mean that doesn't happen in the anime, so I guess it's okay at one, but protagonist card <laughs> um grinder golem semi limited so yeah okay so grinder at two i get you can search it off like contract with the dark library door thing kind of sucks you can also search it with witch but that's that that's just bad like don't do that that's bad <laughs> but yeah grinder golem i don't think there's a specific dark searcher so this hurts but like at two people are still gonna play it i guess it's investing tons of your extra deck they should just put it to one no one will play it at one because extra deck space unless they're doing like traditional grinder golem for the inferno tempest literally back in the day it's never been used for anything like actually like normal i guess i i don't know fair it's always been used for something completely degenerate, this little guy here. Like, even when it was early release, you're giving your opponent a free monster for a couple pointless tokens. And you can't normal summon the rest of the turn. It's always been a bad card from in a bubble standpoint, and it's always been used to make some stupid broken combos in order to be good. Like, that, that's how Grinder Golem has worked. It's always been in some stupid thing like the Inferno Tempest banished the deck. Because it, it just doesn't make sense to just play a Grinder Golem, you know? So, yeah, it should be at one. It's just not a fair card. Lone Fire Blossom. Are they trying to hit my plant engine? They hit him this plant engine? Okay, 70, that doesn't really matter. Just run an extra Orphus. Lone Fire is just better because it thins a bit more, but just run extra Orphus. That's that's Ophris. That's completely fine. I I guess it's for those um it's it's for those glow up bulb stuff. Let me see. I think I have it in um this deck. It's for that uh glow up bulb shenanigan. I don't even run it in this one, do I? <laughs> yeah, I don't run Lone Fire Blossom with the spore glow up engine. I don't know why. 
And I just feel like there's better options out there. Like, um, you just bring it out through needle fiber. You don't need it for anything. It's like the worst thing. <laughs> okay, um, next up, Mathematician to two. That's strong. That's strong. That that's gets out your level eater. That that's a good one. It also does a Shrudo by Ancient Fairies Band, so it kind of doesn't matter. I guess you can Black Rose still. <laughs> it draws a card, so it's like a better Armageddon Knight in a way. Sure it. Sure it. They're, they're, they're helping Necros. I'm pretty sure they already got one Sure in the OCG, but... This is powerful, but it's not going to make Necros your one, because they, they need Brio. They need Brio to two. They need they need Brio to two. That that's something they need. Um, they, they have Triple Valk in the TCG. I don't know if they have in the OCG. What was that card called? I miss that cross format. Not like I want it back. I hate that cross format. Like I missed it completely because I quit the game at that time around. Like pre duels with Alliance, I think. What was the next? What was that one? What was that one? I don't know where it's at in the TCG. Um, Unicorn, yeah, it's called Unicorn, I don't know how to forget that. So, they need two Unicorn, two Brio, and two Shuret, like, maybe even three Shuret. I think if they had two Shuret and the other cards, they'd be a pretty good card. They, I mean, a pretty good deck. If they had two Brio, two Unicorn, and three Shuret, or two Shuret. But with two Shuret, one Brio, and one Unicorn... They might be decent rogue, but they won't see play in the meta. Tribe Infecting Virus, that's completely been power creeped out. It's errata, is trash. Pantheism of the Monarchs to 2. That is also insanely powerful. I like the artwork on that card. Let's show the artwork. Pantheism. I don't feel like editing this video. It's already late. Pantheism. Okay, where is it? Pantheism of the Monarchs. So, it's pretty cool artwork. This thing is also amazing. Like th this, this thing is amazing. It is so powerful, but I don't think monarchs will be too good. But monarchs can play vanities fiend. Monarchs now can just play van drop of vanities on you. They can play through triple vanities, triple majesties if they want. Yeah, and then they also have card of the mice. Like, oh yeah, I called it. Those, those rumors, they were fake. Okay, so, so they have card of the mice at their disposal. I don't know if they'd run it, but they can. And it's powerful. Like, monarchs might see play again. Who knows? Like, they are a, they have gone hit a lot. One ether in the DCG. I don't know how many they have in the OCG. Pretty sure they have like one. Let's just put it at OCG here. OCG. They have triple Stormforth. Okay, so if they have the. Yeah, I hate it when that happens. If they have triple Stormforth and they get double Pantheism, that's going to be an amazing deck. That's actually a pretty good contender with to pantheism. I'm sorry, but I, th I think it's gotta go back to um, it's gotta go back to one. I don't think you can have it at two, and have it be fair. But that's just my opinion because like I don't really keep up with the OCG. But if they have triple stormforth, actually I don't think they've ever hit stormforth. <laughs> I'm just going on a tangent here. Um. If they have the triple Stormforth with triple either triple everything, and they're getting Pantheism to two, they are definitely gonna be a somewhat meta contender, especially if um, Spiral got hit like this and Firewall. Um, Satirization to two makes sense. Scapegoat to two. Never thought Scapegoat was a problem because it does require the setup, but. Like, I run triple scapegoat in quite a bit, so now you have one go from a two scapegoat. Ah, and you have two grind golem, and you have the black wing card, so it seems they really are trying to. Why is that yellow? It appears that they really are trying to just hit the token generation. I mean, why make it so you can use tokens if you're just going to hit all of them? That that makes no sense to me. Um, set rotation 2, again, it's more powerful than terraforming. Since they have one terraforming, they, they should have 
one set rotation. But I guess they're like, oh my god, the TCG is so dumb. They're just drawing the bricks. Let's just went to two. Um, Solemn Warning to two. Their Solemn Brigade looks very different from ours because they have two Strike and two Warning. So, so what com when it comes to the OCG's Solemn Brigade, they also have a Judgment. They have a Judgment, two Strikes, and a Warning. That was their old one. You know, we have three Strike, one Warning. I don't think Strike is nearly as powerful a Warning, though. Judgment is just the best one, okay? There's no question, but... Warning is like second, followed by strike. Strike is worse than warning, in my opinion. So they're going to have two strike, two warning, and a judgment. That's going to really slow down the game. Um, Because with, with strike, sure, it's effects as well. It's only 1,500. But with warning, normal summons. This thing gets rid of normal summons. That's just, that's just not... This thing does nothing on normal summons. It also negates effects that include an effect that special summons monsters. So it negates Ancient Fairway, that's bad now. But it negates a lot, okay? It negates quite a bit. Okay? It negates Firewall, I'm pretty sure, because it includes it. It negates the bounce. I haven't really tested that because I never played Solemn, so I was played going second stuff. Strike is just, it's less life points, but it's not nearly as powerful as a normal summon. That normal summon is crucial as a play starter. If you, if you warning their quick fix and they don't have double summon, like, what are they gonna do? I don't get why they have warning at two with strike at two. Um, unlimited Atlantean Dragoons. That was insane, that's insane, Mermails. Mermails are just such a good deck, but I don't think they'll become meta, but with the Link monster, that's not too good, but still pretty powerful. And Dragoons at three. Mermails, they might see some play. Might. I'm not sure. I mean, now I'm pretty sure they can still um Bahamu into Toad now because... Yeah, I'm pretty sure now they can Bahamut for Toad because the Blink Monster is not too consistent, but that's strong. Uh, Maxi. Draw free. Why do you have unlimited? It, in my opinion, it should be a banned. Like, 100% Maxi should be super banned, but I guess it's okay at three because it's not a Saki. It's not like, oh, I drew a one of, I win. It's I drew a three of, I win. Oh, but you drew it too. That that's how it would kind of work. Where like, oh, they have the skill drag on Max C. They got mm, like that, you know. Interesting. I want to see how that turns out. I don't really keep up with OCG though. I'd rather have it banned. Honestly, it's just too much of sack. Dark Hole at three, but they don't have Regeki, so I guess it makes sense. But how many slumbers do they have? Don't they have triple slumbers as well? OCG has one slumber. Okay, so they're board wipe. They have one more board wipe than us. They have an extra one of the, the regulars, but their board wipes are weaker. You know, they have triple dark hole when we have one regeki, one dark hole. But we just limited our dark hole, and here they come unlimiting there. So I guess they want the slow game state. Double warning. They want to sort of lock you out with set rotation. Putting out two instead of one. Monarchs. They want to have scapegoats, like it's at two, but they want grinder golem at two and scapegoats. Like they want to slow it down. They want it so like you don't just win from one set card. They want to get rid of the tokens, you know. They, they want to slow down the game state, get you one firewall dragon. Mathematician, mathematician. So like if it's destroyed by battle, you get to draw an extra card. So sure, necros, like necros. Monarchs. That's that's insane. So it looks like they're trying to slow down the game and future fusion to three. I'm pretty sure we already have F3, don't we? I don't, I don't even care about the card anymore because it's so trash. Like the Rada is just trash. Yeah, they have two right now. How many do we have? Do we have a two? We have a one. Yo, okay. It, it it's still like a good card though. Like I guess because like in Cyber Dragons, for example. 
Like, you can just run a Cyber Dragon engine in any machine deck, really. Any, like, heavy machine deck. Where you show a Cyber Dragon. You show the Over Dragon. And in a day and age where no one's playing too much. Actually, back row removal is pretty prevalent. If back row removal ever becomes, like, something no one plays again. Well, not no one, but, like, is rarely seen. And not too common because of cards like Dimensional Barrier again. Like, maybe not that car, but, like, a new dimensional barrier sort of car where you just chain it. This might be okay where you just future fusion for this thing. Slow down the game, say, using those two warnings and triple dark holes. And summoning this thing with, like, 8,000 attack and 8 attacks in one phase. Yeah, that, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. That's a pretty big OTK. You can also go for five-headed. If they're slowing down the game state... How do you spell it? Five gold gold dragon is like this. Five god dragon. Huh? Five headed dragon? What? Um, mate, five. Five headed dragon. Like, you can still pitch five dragons from your deck. That's still powerful. Arbrave dragon, amorphous goliath, blue eye stuff. This is pretty strong, honestly. This is pretty powerful. Mm. So overall, this battle is pretty crazy, pretty interesting, pretty question, pretty questionable, pretty supportive, and pretty cool. Slow down the game state. That's definitely cool. So, I mean, this is what Andrew's doing on the chat. I guess uh, I have access to it. <laughs> so, um. Those were my thoughts. This was a long video. That's going to be all for today, guys. Take care, y'all. Good night.